dude, what are you talking about, man? Well, I don't know, dude. I guess it's like, if I'm being totally honest with myself, I just don't feel like she was all that interested in me. Well, why not, dude? Well, because she kept turning around and walking away. Dude. I know, man, but like, I don't have a lot of confidence about stuff like that. Hey! And... Give me the babies you stole, you jerk! What was that? Dude, there's a chick in a costume here. Where are they? Is she hot? Hold on, dude. I'm gonna have to call wait, you back. Dude, wait. What are you doing in my house? What the f Those are my baby raccoons. What are you making them do? They're stuffing envelopes for my mail order business. They aren't your slaves. I'm taking them back to the forest world where they belong. <laughs> free those babies. If they die, though, I know how to get new baby raccoons. Oh, you do, huh, Sparky? You get them from the stork. That's what you think, huh? First, you put your in the stork, and then a baby raccoon comes out of her Well, I better get going. You want to join my family and me for dinner? Me? Really? <laughs> You're my best friend, Sparky. I think it's important that my family gets to know you. Hey! Michaela, where have you been? We're about to start dinner. Sorry, Mom. Mom, I hope it's okay I brought a friend home from school. Oh my God, Michaela, you couldn't have given me any warning. Why don't you bring your friend in, sweetie? Frank! Leota, you always make more than enough. Hey, everybody. This is Sparky. Hey, everybody. How's it going? What's for dinner? Michaela, can I talk to you for a moment? Honey, you can't... I love you, but you can't bring a raccoon into this house. What? Smells f***ing delicious. Come on. He's my friend, Dad. I, I understand what you're saying. And this Sparky fella, he might be the greatest guy in the world. But humans and raccoons have hated each other for hundreds of years. You can't just pretend that doesn't exist. I can't believe that you're saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Michaela. Have you seen this book? if I go to the bathroom? Okay. It's just down the hall and... Oh, he's going right now, Mom. <sighs> what the f*** is that? Here, look at this. Look. look at that. Here. Raccoons. F***ing the man. Why? Because he ate some berries. Like that on every berry in the whole world. And here, gangs of raccoons in Chicago abducted people for their internal organs to use for medical experiments. 
But this, this. It's a raccoon wearing a human head for a hat. See, that's fashion to a raccoon. Dad, I don't know how to say this, but I think those pictures have been photoshopped. Don't be naive, Michaela. Honestly, Dad, I've been around raccoons a lot. They don't know how to start fires, much less conduct medical experiments. And even if they did, it's not fair that you blame Sparky for all of it. I mean, look at that one. Okay, this one is particularly ridiculous. Ah! No, please! Oh, Drop it, Nietzsche! Oh, Drop it! Hurts. Drop it! She's trying to move me! Oh, please, He's a dog. Oh, f you! What is wrong with you? You guys just stood by and watched? She urinated on the floor, Michaela. Hey, it's no big deal to me, lady. I'm a f***ing raccoon. I'll pee wherever the f*** I want. Can I have some more of those shrimp? No, Sparky. We're leaving. Just one more bowl, baby. No, come on! But they're your family, Michaela. You have to forgive them. My uncle ate his own male children, but I forgave him because he's family. Gross. At least your dad didn't eat your brother. I would hate him if he did. That would make you small-minded. I guess that's why we have to keep fighting crime together in both the human and forest world so that everybody can see that humans and raccoons really can get along. Sparky and Michaela. We better hurry. We have to stop those evil scientists from blowing up Cincinnati. Oh, crap. Thankfully, it was just a city like Cincinnati and not one of the good ones. Don't you know that we should love each other like Sparky and Michaela do?